Welcome back to the Blender Research Lab. Let's take another look at the biped solver and some of the new features. So we'll create a biped. Let's make this the ground. Pose mode. And the, uh, the solver has been split into four different solvers. There's main settings here. These are just for standing, these are just for stepping. Dancing is sort of his foot movement and when he's falling. This um, is the active bone and um, we have the settings were previously over here. There's local force and local torque. Let's go ahead and switch it on. Okay, so let's um, apply more head lift. There's a new option here, leg flex. This um, it puts more tension in the leg, keeping it straighter, but possibly uh, bending the wrong way if there's too much tension. Let's apply some lift on the head. Some lift on the um, on the chest. Let's lift that up. All right. So to keep the character from drifting away like that, we can create any object. Let's create um, an empty. Okay, so I have two empties, and I will place them around his shoulders. This uh, collarbone, I'm going to link that to the first empty with a dynamic target and increase the goal weight. And the other um, collarbone, I'll use the other empty. These two empties will be the child of this empty, so I can move it. Okay, so with this dynamic target, I can control the movement of the character. And because I've linked it, the shoulders, I can, I can rotate this to 
control the rotation of the the shoulders of the character and his whole body then uh, rotates along with that. This threshold is the speed at which he considers himself moving quickly forward and how, if he will throw his leading foot forward. <laughs> 